Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely, welcome to my channel. I wanna to talk to you about some of this energy, um, some of the things that I help you with if you're new to this is energies, how to deal, and also what's happening because it can be very confusing to the mind. I wanna remind everyone that as we get shoved through some sort of energy, there's a lot of things tumbling around. Your messaging might be a bit garbled, just a little bit, right? Or a lot. So how do you really get your messages? I know a lot of people wish this were as simple as just, can I just pick up the phone and call that person? And like, it'll all be lovely. Sorry, this is much more than being with the person who is truly your other half. I can't sugarcoat that, but oh, wait, yes, I can sugarcoat that because I am an expert in getting people to feel again and again what this 5D love is supposed to feel like. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe because you will get very current updates. So let's get right into it. Are you feeling overwhelmed and it's bringing up aspects of anger and maybe you're even depressed are you having trouble getting out of bed are you feeling a lot of anger at family members or people you feel have wronged you all along your past are you a female and you're feeling weird sensations down in your private part areas that are very different. You know, maybe it's like a bit dull and achy. It's not quite your time or you're feeling things flare up and you're not sure what's going on. Well, your body wants to rid itself of a lot of old ancient cosmic level connections. Cosmic level, what is that? That means your points of origin. That means where you've originated from. That means the timelines that are collapsing and they're coming to be integrated so that you can take the best of your best within you, surrounding you and for you. What it means is your body is then scraping off the garbage, okay? Just like you would if you were moving and you moved to a new neighborhood and you're like, I packed everything in a hurry and therefore I'm overwhelmed, but because I packed so hurriedly, I've got things like I really don't want or I shouldn't keep or I should just pass it along, right? Like we all do that. We're like, why did I keep this? Why are you hanging on to something? There's reasons. And the reasons also go back into history to cataclysms, to people that loot and people that hoard. We have that sometimes in us where we're like, we're not sure should we keep something? Should we hang on to it? And sometimes people have a death grip on it and that can lead to depression. What are you hanging on to? What, what are your cells hanging on to? You, your body has memory. Your old light body distinctly has memories and it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm back here on planet earth again. Oh my God. Whew, what am I doing? You're here to gather yourself and reconnect. Okay. So is this making you angry? Like, are you angry at dad? Are you angry at mom? Are you angry at your ancestors? Are you angry because they made stupid ass decisions? Are you angry because maybe you're a first gen person and you're like living in two worlds? Are you angry because your finances are blocked? Are you angry because you're not really seeing through that mental miasm after the energy shoves everyone, right? Everyone's on the freight train. Everyone is on the freight train and the train is pulling into the station. Your boxes are being unloaded, right? But what do you have to offload? So this is some of your cosmic and universal level karma. I know how to get you through that because I have the connections and the gifts and the skills and the modality to help you with this because it really is boggling to the mind. So what does this mean? 
Well, if we take a worldview, there's a lot of turmoil in the world. There are a lot of, you know, uprootings. There's a lot of seeking. There's a lot of trekking. There's a lot going on, okay? Energetically, you're going to feel this. Even if you're like, la, 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 I'm living in my own little place, la, la, la. And you have to do that. You have to be able to block out the world. But even more importantly, you have to be able to get away. And you can't always get on an airplane or a boat or a train. Your train is delivering you to the station. So how do you continue to get away? Get away, get away, get away from it all. Want to get away? Yes, we do. We want to get away from the chaos and the turmoil and the large scale angers, the large scale, you know, like, yeah, there's beefs on every side. There are genuine conflicts on every side. Why? Because this is a time where it's coming up to kind of like break into a million tiny pieces, sweep it up and do it differently. Do it better, create something, create a new structure. That's what this last energetic portal, this is what the retrogrades are for. You get shoved back. When you go forward, it's time for new structure. It's also time for new light body structure, and that is my specialty, getting you to integrate the new light body with the new structure of your life. It's not about reading like who it is or whatever. I say to you this, Focus on you and you will get further and faster than you will if you're paying attention to some other person. Pay attention to you because the right connections are in you. Now, I also recommend certain things and I do those recommend, sorry, I do those recommendations privately in one-on-one -on -one sessions or within my classes and webinars. It's always a great group. It's always a safe space. It's always people that are, you know, not just like-minded, but they're just like you. And a lot of times they're amazed to find out, I had no idea other people were going through this. Yes, please come out of the closet. Okay, the closet isn't, isn't just to hide away. The closet is not for punishment. The closet serves its purpose. It's just to store your clothing and your stuff. Okay, but bring yourself out of it. What I would recommend is... Get out your calendar, right? You've got these beautiful calendars with these lovely scenes. Bring out your calendar and start marking it down. So this coming weekend, we've got, uh, here in the United States, we've got Veterans Day. We're honoring things. But what you may not know with your cosmic karma is this. How you became who you are, that's a series of events. Those are invasions and occupations and sorry, massacres and a lot of other ugly stuff. Your ancestors were not always in love with each other. A lot of times they did not have the luxury of love. We are in a timeline now where you are part of the chosen ones because you chose to enjoy love, to rid yourself of things, of things that are not love. Okay, so what do I have coming up? Well, Let's talk about the new moon and the 11th portal of the month, of the year. <laughs> the 11th portal of the year, the gateway, love, I'm going to keep saying it. This whole journey is about love. It's about loving yourself, learning how love can flow in your body, and bring the things to you that you need. That's what they call magnetizing. You're not just magnetizing yourself. You're magnetizing all kinds of things that you need, specific to you. Not all the other masses, not all the other lemmings running over the cliff, okay? I did actually watch Pink Floyd, like why were they, okay, that's when I learned what a lemming was. Thanks, Pink Floyd. Okay, let's get back to this. November 12th, and we have two times, times for people in an early time zone for me, or times a time in the evening. So West Coast, you're in the evening, West Coast. Australia, New Zealand, Hawaii, California, we love you. Me, 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 me. Make it all about you. Make it all about you. Join us, okay? We're going to cover some things here. 
and yeah, I say it's for two hours, but honestly, we get to chit-chatting and we go over. It, we have a lot of fun, okay? If your journey is not fun and you're just like holding the steering wheel, wondering when you're going to go off the cliff, or you're hanging on for dear life, wondering when this roller coaster ride is, please, please, please stop. Please stop. But I really get confused of what to do. I know, I know. I know. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. How can this be love? I'm hearing you. I hear you loud and clear. This is why we focus on it, so that you can recreate it. Okay, that initial thing that let you know you're alive. You're really alive. The next thing I have coming up is a relationships class, because if you're saying to yourself, another year over and what have you done okay please let's focus on relationships okay you have yourself and you have your outer rings how do you deal how do you cope with all the things because not everyone can afford to go live at the top of a mountain you have responsibilities you have jobs you care about or jobs that are like really paying your bills or a job you need to get to pay those bills or the things you want in life, okay? Or a business, I know all about it. This is not some eerie, fluffy thing telling you like, you know, go be Zen while everything is crashing down and telling you how to get to the level where it's a natural calm and out of the chaos feeling with doing this stuff so that you can, okay? So we are starting November 19th for four part using your natural connections, not the ego mind. Okay, like we're gonna bypass the ego mind entirely because your mind will tell you, throw up things like, what about this? Well, if this happens, then I'll do that. Nope, that only works in computer science. If this, then that, that's duality. Okay, no ego mind. We're gonna be talking about exes, children, spouses, work, all of it how to use your light body to set energetic boundaries <gasps> energetic boundaries you keep leaning on me and i i just i don't think i can take it anymore dude it's it, where do i begin you're just too sensitive grow skin you know what i am and i've been taking it taking it taking it because he's a magnetic he's an electric he likes to dominate and then sometimes it's out of context okay pick them up move them somewhere else it would be lovely but it's not working it's not working okay how does that one set some energetic boundaries do you have people like that at your work do you have people like that in your house in your family do you have that like favorite uncle of your mom's but somehow they're gonna boss you and tell you everything to do they're boy bossing you they're mansplaining it to you or is someone woman explaining it like she's way too electric she needs to get a little loving right like we all have these thoughts but your light body is to help you set energetic boundaries the easy way by using the force of love yes it takes a little bit okay for females there are special considerations you have a body that's meant to carry life whether or not you ever did usually you have in some other past life so you have that like how do you rid yourself of all those old relationships okay and we're not going to go deeply into past lives we want to cut to the chase here we do past life stuff I have a whole entire class on past lives. It was great because it's one of my favorite topics. But we want to help you so that your cycles are better. Like everything gets better, right? Everything gets better. It may not be perfect because that perfection is in your light body, okay? Hear what I'm saying. You're still going to be a human. Humans, we always learn, learn through trial and error. Try it. Try it learn fumble i'll pick you up i'll help you that's what i'm here for this is brand new people doesn't matter how many like ancient scripts and things and toys people bring out this is new because your light body has a brand new structure intended to hold love 
Not grudges, not resentments, not deep rage. Remember the angry and depressed? Guess what happens? You implode. The world fights and then it gets exhausted. And then it fights and gets, please let me help you break away. Even on a small scale in your personal relationships. Remember, your children, you're the one setting the energetic example. I know too many people that feel like because they're going through ascension, they do nothing. Let's work on all of your sacral hero root issues easily. Now, to help you with this, in the United States, we have Thanksgiving, okay? Hi, Canada, I know you already had your Thanksgiving, but you're still welcome to join us. You have a seat at the table. Gratitude, okay? People hear a lot of words in English, and it has sort of a weird connotation, maybe even a bad connotation. Gratitude, surrender, submit, okay? We're notching that up a level. Gratitude does not mean groveling. So we, I'm offering a four-day Thanksgiving, how to deal the proper way using gratitude. We're going to like dig and shift you. Dig and shift. This is how we get you through some of this. If you're feeling angry, find some gratitude. And you ask, you ask your higher self. This is not difficult. The asking part, bring yourself to ask. Bring yourself to do it. Work the process. Please work the process and you will get progress of your journey. Okay? So reach out to me. We want to do it how to deal the proper way instead of old coping. There used to be times when we'd have a family get together and I'd think to myself, the only way to get through this is not sober. And I've been way past those days, way past those days. In fact, I felt like that old body slid out of me one day. I have a whole story about that because it happened in Mexico. And I became new because my new body didn't want to hold that stuff. That's how amazing it was. Or I'd hang with the little kids because little kids are a little more pure and innocent. They don't get all snarky and politic -y and, you know, all the other stuff, all the built up stuff. Please start, join. I'd love to see you there. Write me your questions, twinflamereconnection at gmail.com. There's a lot happening. It's going to continue happening into 2024. In fact, 2024 is a huge year. It's huge. This is, this is like the delineation point. Like, you know, you hear these things like split in worlds. That's splitting off timelines. Let's just keep it simple. Split off timelines, okay? That means you don't get to repeat all the crap that was in that timeline. Okay, real simple. But when you're at a new level, it's new. It's like climbing Everest where you're at 10,000 feet now. Woohoo! You got somewhere. You made progress. But it's new, right? Okay? So let me help you. Let me get you there because... You're going to see a lot of things break down, and I don't want you to have a breakdown. Have a great day. Hope to see you there. Bye.